efforts by a North Queensland banana farm to protect the health of the Great Barrier Reef have been recognised on the national stage. Based near Silkwood, just 10 kilometres from the reef, Gaia Farms recently won a category of the 2011 Banksia Awards, the country's most hotly contested environmental accolades. The family business was presented with the Agriculture and Food from Paddock to Plate Sustainability Award for demonstrating leadership and innovation in moving to more sustainable and productive agricultural practices. We've invested in improving soil health on our farm and as such we wish to protect this valuable asset. We are mindful of the fact that we are surrounded by waterways and in close proximity to the Great Barrier Reef. We've implemented a number of practices to improve soil and water management. Some of the practices we use on our farm start pretty well at the plant situation. If we're getting a block ready to plant and the inner rows are already stable, we don't cultivate these inner rows, we just cultivate the, the bed where we need to plant. When cultivation is required or maintaining our inner rows, we always try and do these in the dry times of the year to avoid any soil loss. We always choose to slash the inner rows rather than spray them out with herbicide. The drains are also grass so that we don't have erosion. When we manage our trash, we put the harvested heads and any other trash on the row and we don't leave it out in the inter row. During a period of fallow, we try and have a fallow crop to not only reduce the soil erosion but also build up organic matter for the following crop. Road and drain maintenance is ongoing to keep any other soil from moving off them. We've undertaken several revegetation projects on our farm with the aim of trying to stabilise the creek bank and also to improve our biodiversity. Even though these practices are in place, they still require ongoing maintenance and improvement. Sediment management starts in the block, so the wetland is part of a complete system. So this area of the farm essentially was a, a lost area so far as banana is concerned. It was the ideal situation to, to try and put in some sort of wetland as such or catchment area. The relevant departments got involved, it's Terrain NRM, Didi and, and Grocom. And with help from them, guidance as such, our work towards the build, the construction of the dam which we did ourselves, we took all the levels and did it. Um, and then for the vegetation part which we started and we're still doing and I suspect it's going to take some time yet uh, and that was with the help of Carla Wigchild the whole thing is designed to serve a purpose and that's the idea. This constructed wetland has been designed and built specifically to capture and treat runoff. Modelling was undertaken to look at runoff from the banana farm. There are two distinct catchments on the farm this western catchment has an area of 26 hectares and also includes a packing shed. Modelling was undertaken to predict the runoff from this area and the effect that a wetland in this location would have on treating nutrients and sediments in the runoff water. This design is important as it contains a sediment basin before the water enters the wetland to capture the coarse sediments. The water then flows through an intake pipe into the beginning of the wetland where it then slowly flows through dense wetland vegetation over a series of a couple of days before being discharged out the exit pipe and down the existing drainage line. The wetland is designed to be long, narrow and shallow. This is so that wetland reeds and sedges will dominate the base of the wetland providing a large surface area for uptake of nutrients and the capture of fine sediments. The modelling suggested that this almost 2.5 hectare wetland could reduce the amount of sediment and phosphorus in the farm runoff by almost half and reduce the nitrogen by um, up to a third. But we're starting to realise and see some of the fruits of our bloody work and that's the main thing. We can see what's happening here. We encourage a good population of bird life and stuff which wouldn't have been here and it's happening. And more so, as I said before, this birdie can duck. It's pretty rare. It's ideal. <laughs>